Hello everybody and welcome to part 19 of Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex and the final part of this Let's Play. This video is brought to you by GameInWell.com and like I said I did type in Wombat and apparently, uh, let's see, we this one just had that silver gem. See, the gems are actually white and the silver ones are ones that you get in the level with a color gem. Uh, this one, you know, this one. I don't think we were missing any of the colored gems. Actually, did we get the purple one? Okay, the purple one required the red gem, which is kind of weird. But anyways, I promised to show you guys the last uh, couple bonus levels in this game. Which is, I think, two. And let's head out. We got Solar Bowler and we have Force of Nature. So I think that's a snowboarding level and this is another ball level. I'm not going to focus too much on it, I'm not going to get all the boxes and stuff because, you know, technically the game's 100% complete. So, you know, there's no point anymore. Hope you guys really enjoyed this Let's Play though, it was a pretty fun one. It was a very difficult one because this is like a game that I've never actually 100% completed. But it was really fun to actually play it again, I haven't played it since 2002 or, you know, the year it came out. It came out December of 2011, which is really funny. Because the game says it came out 2002, you know, if you look at its title screen. Which, you know, a lot of games do that. If they're like at the end of the year, they'll just say the year after. But yeah, so this level is actually really straightforward so far by the looks of it. Now, it's nothing too spectacular. Oh look, hole we can go down. Oh, I might as well get these lives. So though they have like, five. Wow, this is, yeah, this is an extremely easy level. For being like a f final level, it's extremely easy and yeah. Okay, anyways, that's that level. And the snowboarding level. Let's go check that one out now. This part will probably be like five minutes because I'm not really going to show off too much. But, okay, anyway, let's go to Force of Nature. Solar Bowler, that, like, the names aren't as witty as they used to be, but they're still pretty witty. Okay, hurry up, game and load. You can tell it's going into a cocoa level. Its loading time is usually doubled. Go on, there you go. And wow, is this an entire snowboarding level? And Oh yeah, this one also has like, I forget, there's something here that you have to do to get like the gem or whatever. Like the second gem. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, it's a pretty cool level, you know, it's just your typical snowboarding level, but with, as the entire level. Just hold down B and press A to jump. We got two Akus already. So now he technically gains the name Aku Aku. I think it should start avalanching pretty soon. Yes, I think it should. The jumping seems a little delayed though. I don't know if it's my controller or if it's just the game's reaction. So notice that with a few things in this game. The music is pretty sinister sounding though. Hmm. You can pretty much do this with one hand. If you don't want to collect all the boxes. Yeah, see the Wamper Fruit leads to all the boxes. There's a ton of Nitro here too. I missed that box completely. I've always liked snowboarding though. I'm not the best at it, but I'm pretty decent. And really, that was it. It's like a Christmas level. But yeah, that pretty much does it for this Let's Play. Um. As for the next projects after this, uh, stay tuned for Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. And I'm not sure about the one that's replacing God of War, because God of War is probably still going to be going on. I'm almost done recording it. And anyways, yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and uh, stay tuned for a new Let's Play in the future. This is Solar Warlock, signing off one last time for this Let's Play.